First of all, it seems like an age when the draw was made and we found out we'd be at home uh, uh, against Austria, first of all. Um, so it must be great relief that within touching distance now of actually getting the squad together and getting out there to play the game. Yeah, absolutely. It has. It's been a long camp, IG, from November and then we had the draw and, and, uh, and obviously pleased with the outcome of, of the second draw. We, we took charge of that ourselves against Belgium, of course, um, in November, which made the home game first the first game against Austria um, and then it was the luck of the draw for the second one but yeah you're right it's it's here it's on us and and we're all excited now and looking forward to meeting up in the background we obviously know there's a awful situation uh, in, in 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 the Ukraine and all the politics and what's gone on around it has that affected your thinking in any way or um, could you just concentrate on 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 this one match yeah I think first and foremost I'm you know I'm a dad um, and and having watched the news like everybody else every morning, I'm appalled at the scenes I'm, I'm seeing. Um, what's going on in Ukraine is, is unbelievable. It's 2022 and we're seeing things like that. It's it's not acceptable. And um, and, and our prayers and thoughts are absolutely with, with them. Um, you know, UEFA have come to the decision in the end that we, we have to play our fixture. Uh, so full focus has to be on that now. And, and rightly so, Ukraine and Scotland has been postponed until June. We potentially will have a, a, a friendly fixture on the second game, but we can't worry about who that's going to be. You know, it might give us an opportunity to give other players in the squad some experience, but our full focus right now is on that first game against Austria and, and the importance of it and, uh, and, and what it can mean to us. Naming the squad, obviously, um, Kiefer Moore was unavailable. You've lost Danny Ward, but it's testimony may, maybe to the strength of the squad that you have, or players around you, that, that you can just bring players in, other players in. And I think we've shown our intent over the last couple of years, two, three years, four years, that you know the young players now are, are coming through. And, and we've seen, to use Brennan as an example, who's playing really, really well at Nottingham Forest, to see what he's done in the last 12 months. You know, he's gone into that level of championship and he's hit the ground running and, and he's, he's, he's stood out, you know, and, and he was linked with a few top clubs, premiership clubs in January, decided to stay. I absolutely think he's done the right, the right thing in staying while he's playing good football and, and at a club that's showing him love and playing well. Absolutely, he's done the right thing to stay. So that's good that we've got players like him coming through. So yes, we're disappointed we have not got Kiefer and, um, and, and Gareth's not getting as many minutes as real as, as we'd, we'd, we'd want him to. And, and Aaron's not getting as many minutes as Rangers, albeit he's gone there for the right reasons. You know, these young players now are coming through, biting at their heels, knowing that you know um, we we want that jersey off you, and that breeds for a good, a great environment in the camp. And Harry Wilson's one of them. I watched him at Fulham, I watched him at Barnsley for Fulham on Saturday with with Nico. Again, Nico, I'd like him to the same as Brennan, where he's a young player that's come through the ranks, and, and we've identified that he can go straight into the first team and. Uh, and, and you know, giving a good account of themselves and playing really well. And one, one player who's t taken another brave decision going abroad is, uh, is, is Ravi Matondo, and it seems to have paid off for, for, for Ravi having an excellent season and, and a recall to the squad. Yeah, R Ravi was, Ravi's been frustrated over the last few months for not being involved and, and not making the Euros. And, but I had a good chat with him and his agent and just sat him down and said, look, you know, focus on club football first. Get yourself established at the club where you're playing consistently um, like any other player does. And then international football will follow. You can't have it the other way around. You can't expect and demand to be in Wales' national team. You know, it's disrespectful to the other players that are playing week in, week out, but you're not playing at your club level or it's not quite working out for you and you have to move from club to club. Thankfully, Rabi's got himself in a position where he's playing consistently for a club that, again, showing him love. He's, he's you know, um, I'm watching footage of him scoring wonderful goals and, and for what, it, what he brings to the team. And I think he's matured. And I think because of that, he deserves his chance to be back involved. Absolutely. He's a great asset for us. He's a great football, uh, footballer for, for us to have in the squad. And, um, of course, I'm going to consider it. And he deserves his chance to be back involved. The prize is huge. It's potentially it's a semi-final. Um, but next week is the aim to keep things as normal as possible as you've done throughout the, the campaign, not to change anything in, in the build-up? Absolutely. It's, there's no razzmatazz, there'll be nothing, IG. It's another game for us. And it's important that, you know, I've got a group of senior players that I've already spoken to. I've spoke to the captain, I've spoke to Gareth, I've spoke to Aaron, um, you know, I've spoke to Joe, and, and it's important that they lead that as well. You know, there's, there's no, we don't take our eye off the ball. We've got a game to play. The atmosphere is going to be outstanding. 
like it has been in any other, in all the other games that we've played. There's no difference. Forget forget everything else. Everything else that surrounds it. Let's just throw full focus into the game and the job we've got to do. And just finally, a couple of questions. Austria, the opponents, not to be underestimated, deserve huge, huge, huge respect because they're a good team with good players. Absolutely, they've shown what they can do in the Euros. And yeah, all right, they've been a bit inconsistent, but on, on their day, they're an absolute threat and, and they're there for a reason. So we'll respect that. They've got some wonderful players in the team. And, you know, I've done quite a bit of analysis on them in recent weeks and, and I know we're in for a tough game. But like I say to the other reporters and the press that, on our day, we proved against Belgium, against the world's best, that we can more than compete as well and, and take them, you know. So it'll, be, it'll, it'll make for an entertaining game, but we'll be full of confidence going into it. We won't be cocky with that confidence, absolutely not. You've got to earn the right to win games of football and we'll make sure we do the, the not-so-pretty side of the game first and hopefully then the quality will shine through. And just finally, word about back at the Cardiff City Stadium. We've already spoken about the support, which is immense. Can make a huge difference, I, I suppose, as well get behind the team but also on the night show some you have to be patient as well yeah absolutely <clears throat> and the red wall has been unbelievable the support we've had at Cardiff has been phenomenal and that will that will continue absolutely the connection I feel the connection that the players have got with the supporters is like I've never experienced before after the Belgian game I spoke to UIG about it you know it's that feeling was immense as you're walking around you've got goosebumps and Amora Heed is being played and, and all the supporters and the and the players are singing it as well. You know, it is our our anthem in the, on the coach going to, to and from training. It was in the Euros with Chris Gunter leading the, the DJing. So it's it's a real important song for us. And to have that feeling after was really special. And, and when the anthem sings, you know, for the first five ten minutes of that game, you're still you're still driven by that adrenaline from that atmosphere. So they can't underestimate the the importance of the part they play in it as well.